Welcome to this overview video of Provar, the only test automation tool that's designed for Salesforce. Get in touch today for a free one-to-one -one demo to find out how Provar can help your business. So let's have a look at Provar. We can see our tests in the left-hand corner, where we also have our test APIs palette. These are all drag and drop and include loops, waitfalls, and many others. In the middle, we have our current test case, which is humanly readable and easy to understand. Then down at the bottom right, we have our org browser, which shows object-specific data from the Salesforce environment to which Provar is connected. So to run a test or create a new test, we use Provar's test builder. Before I run this test, note that there is a breakpoint set about halfway down the test. We can right-click on any test step to add a breakpoint to help with debugging later. We're going to run this test now by clicking the test builder button. The test builder is a Google Chrome application which allows us to build tests from inside Salesforce. The first step of this test will connect us to Salesforce and take us straight in, without worrying about the password screen. Provar has inbuilt navigation designed to reduce clicks, so the test builder will drive us directly to the relevant tab, in this case the Opportunity Home screen. Now the test builder is starting to walk through our test steps until it reaches the breakpoint that I specified earlier. Note that we have set the close date using a formula. Provar has the ability to enter dynamic information using variables and functions to avoid hard coding data. In this case, we have set the data to be three days after today's date. At the top of the test builder, there are some debug buttons, which allow us to step backwards, step forwards, or resume to run the test to the end or to the next breakpoint. When I choose step forwards, that's going to execute the next step, updating the opportunity stage. Next, we're going to do a lookup on the account's name. Provar automatically manages the transition to the pop-up for us, whether we're testing in Classic or in the new Lightning UI. Provar also has a good understanding of tables, and it will locate our data using a discrete WHERE clause to find a particular account. Provar is using metadata here instead of hard-coded locators, and this gives it the flexibility to work with any set of test data. Finally, on this screen, we're going to click Save, this will trigger a validation rule based on the data we've entered. What's interesting to note is that this standard validation error message appears differently here from how it appears in the new Lightning UI. In Classic, the error message contains the word error at the front. In Lightning, this does not appear. This is important. Provar can run the same test in Classic and in Lightning, so we want to ensure that both formats are covered. We have two options for how we do this. The first option is that we can start using some if-else logic, which we can add from Provar's API palette. This means that if Lightning is enabled, Provar will do one thing, and if it's not enabled, which is the case now, Provar will do something different. Using if-else, we can see that Provar has now asserted this value based on the fact that Provar knows we are in Classic. The second option is simply to change our assert so that it works in both Classic and Lightning. This is a good option in this case, since the error messages in Classic and Lightning are very similar. All we need to do is use an ends with operator instead of an equals, so that only the end of the error message is checked. By making this small change, it's easy to accommodate these minor differences between Classic and Lightning, to allow your tests to keep passing and to keep them the same between the two formats. Now let's test some related lists. We're going to click and create a new invoice statement. This is a custom object accessed via a related list. In Provar, we can access this related list via metadata without using hard-coded locators. After creating this invoice statement record, we are now on the invoice statement view screen. This is different from the behavior in Lightning, where you are navigated back to the opportunity. To accommodate this functional change, we've added an extra step for Lightning only, which will take us back to the invoice statement. Now we can continue our test asserting some information before navigating back to the opportunity. Finally, we're going to test a custom Visual Force page. Provar has its own algorithm for calculating robust Visual Force locators. Provar also handles Visual Force just the same between Classic and Lightning, with all the differences from a technology standpoint managed automatically by Provar. We hope you enjoyed this overview video. To learn more about Provar, get in touch today for a free one-to-one -one demo.